The last day of the NFL regular season has arrived with plenty of playoff implications. Happy New Year's Eve. I'm MG Montemayor. Titans and Marcus Mariota look to clinch a playoff spot today versus AFC South rival Jacksonville. In Nashville, Mariota kicked things off in the second with this pitch and 66-yard run out of Derrick Henry. Titans on the board first, 6-0. And a third field goal before the half from Ryan Suckup made a 12-3 home team. But things got a little sloppy in the fourth for the St. Louis grad. He bumped into Henry on the handoff, causing a fumble. And Yannick Ngakwe is off to the races for a 67-yard score. Jacksonville cut the lead 15-10. But that would be the Jags' last hurrah and final score. Tennessee secures a wildcard berth, their first playoff appearance since 2008. Bengals in Baltimore look to spoil the Ravens' playoff hopes. For the half, Joe Flacco zipped it to Chris Moore for his first touchdown pass of the game. 17-10 Cincinnati in the third. A costly bobble by Moore and Darquez Denard tacked on the Bengals' lead with an 89-yard return. 24-10 Bengals. Less than a minute to play. Ravens going to go for the stop, but Andy Dalton with a clean pass to Tyler Boyd made it 31-27 for the upset. Baltimore ousted from the playoffs. Bills are in for the first time since 99 with their win over the Dolphins today. Atlanta looked to make the NFC playoff pitcher when they hosted Carolina today. Falcons got things off on the right foot with a Devontae Freeman pass from Matt Ryan made it 7-0 in the first. Cam Newton company not going to make it easy though. Right before the half, a 16-play drive resulted in a Newton short toss to Devin Funches to tie it at 7. ATL's kicker, Matt Bryant, would be the real MVP, pin this 56-yarder through the uprights, 5-of-5 five five on the day, leading the Falcons to a 22-10 win over the Panthers. ATL clinched the number six seed in the NFC. They face the Rams in the first round of the playoffs next week. A great matchup for the Browns. Corey Coleman in the backfield. Kaiser under pressure. Somehow escapes. Kaiser's pass is incomplete. Right through the hands of Coleman. And with that, Corey Coleman dropped pass from Deshaun Kaiser late in the fourth. The Browns became just the second team in NFL history to finish the regular season 0-16. Despite the Steelers benching starters Ben Roethlisberger and Le'Veon Bell, the Browns fell to the AFC North champions 28-24. And UH women's basketball team back on track right in time for the new year. In their final game of 2017, Rainbow Wahine took over in the second half to pull out a 67-57 win over Hawaii Pacific. Sharks kept things close in the first half and pulled out an 8-0 run in the third quarter. But the final non-conference matchup of the season saw Sarah Tawina take over the reins, finish with 15 points on 6 of 10 shooting and 3 of 5 from the line. The victory put UH at 7 and 6 overall. They kick off Big West play on Thursday, starting 2018 on the road against Cal State Fullerton. Kickoffs 5 p.m. Hawaii time. And to the NBA, Lakers on a five-game slump, looking for a second win against the Rockets after ending their 14-game win streak 10 days ago. Isolation, Randall, cross court, Kuzma, deep, and down. That bucket from rookie Kyle Kuzma made it a 16-point Lakers advantage in the third, 87-71. But Houston called all the way back in the fourth. A Chris Paul assist to Gerald Green from Long Range tied the game at 122 to send it to overtime. Josh Hart sank a corner triple in OT, his fourth tonight. But CP3 came through to help this one go to double overtime. He later found the wide open Trevor Ariza who drained it from 24 feet. That would do it. Rockets win 128-124. LA suffers a sixth straight loss. Some good and bad in sports today. And we hope for more exciting <laughs> games in 2018. Yes, we hope for that for sure. Thank you. Passengers on board a Hawaiian Airlines.